Hi, in today's video, I'll be going over the implementation to the question block game from the 2016 December Bronze Contest. Uh, if you haven't already, I recommend you watch the previous videos um, so that you can give it a shot uh, yourself before watching the coded implementation. But if you're still having trouble, I guess we'll just go into it. Um, yeah, so first. So let's go to the problem boards. Um, okay, and then we'll go over, okay, so let me just label the code. Um, okay, so in here we're going to basically uh, for the two words on the current board, we're going to find the max word, I guess, letters needed from each one. And yeah, so I guess oh, we have like a word. So basically what I've done here is I've created a vector for the indices of the letters needed. And then I have, um, I loop through each word and then I push back the index for each letter. Actually, I guess we could have And actually, I'll just declare them to be zero. Okay, so I've kind of switched it up. Here, I'm initializing a vector um, so that at each index, I can keep track of the number of counts for each letter for each word. And then afterwards, I'll loop through and then take the max of each one. So uh, I guess we can store that in counter one. So we'll just go four and uh, let's say counter one of J equals one. And we'll also have a So or we could actually okay. 
do this thing here. Humans of J plus equals Okay. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So what I did here was I loop through all the letters and then take the max of each one, uh, the max uh, between the uh, two words, and then uh, then I just added on to the answer, and then I printed out the answer. Oh, wrong one. Uh, oh, okay, and also I just realized that we need a file in. Um, yeah, so that is the solution to the block game. I'll have the code in the uh, description below. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.